Hi world. Um, I need to do this video. I am disgusted at what's happened. Today the Supreme Court made a decision to allow DNA collection after an arrest. This is just disgusting. This is a violation of the worst kind. Now, after the cops arrest you, you may not even be guilty of, of what you've been arrested for. But now they can do a cheek swab and get your DNA. That's right. They can get our DNA. Now we've seen these corrupt police arrest people and beat people. And in so doing, the person uh, resists to a certain degree because they're getting the hell beat out of them. And so the cops put a charge on them of resisting arrest and assaulting an officer and whatnot. They make stuff up. This will get your DNA taken. They can forcefully take it. And, uh, you know, they might not just put one swab in there, but why not grab three swabs and swab your cheek? That way they can do two or three tests on you. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Now this is just, this is horrible. And, uh, you know, Americans are going right along with it. I say it's time for these criminal, criminal, uh, system to be taken apart, to be uh, renewed, you know? I mean, this is, this is sad, this is ridiculous, and this infuriates me. We've got uh, Sotomayor and, and uh, these other justices that just, oh, this is just so wonderful. And of course they're going to throw rape and, and whatnot up there and this will exonerate people. Oh, and guess what? You think they're going to pay for it? No. We're going to pay for it. And we may not even be guilty. We may have done nothing wrong. We've seen this happen over and over and over. And look at these people's comments. This is what's truly disgusting. I'm not even going to remark on them. This infuriates me. Americans will just take it. And think it's a good thing. I don't want them having my DNA. No way. Then they can, uh, who knows what they can do with it then. Have a collection database of everyone's DNA. This is uh, <laughs> this is science fiction type stuff, people. We gotta wake up. We have got got to wake up. We have got to protest this. We have got to let them know that this cannot stand. This this can't happen. <laughs> but here we got the Supreme Court telling us that it will whether we like it or not and look at this DNA is the most reliable method for determining the true identity of a person yep and uh, this is for a paternity test in the neighborhood of two hundred dollars could go up to five hundred or six hundred dollars and you're gonna pay that not them you are 
and they can find all kinds of information on you. They may be able to get markers whether you're violent uh, tendencies or not. I mean, this is this is bad, y'all. This is bad. Oh boy, what are we gonna do? Look at this. Police office has ordered a mouth swab test for DNA in two weeks, but we think it's actually for drugs. So, what drugs? does it test for and how far back can it detect those drugs yep remember what I said about get two swabs in there or three swab your mouth yeah they can find all kind of stuff alcohol 10 hours to 5 days nicotine 2 to 4 days I can imagine there are They'll have a DUI test and see if you're under the influence of nicotine. Alcohol, okay. Cocaine, 24 to 80 hours. You might have gone to partying on the weekend and uh, you'll be clapped. If you've even had any touched cocaine, we know it's all over the money. Amphetamines, 1 to 5 days. I mean, look at the list. Our picture, it's marijuana, three to ten days. You'll get a DUI if it's detected. Value. Methadone. Morphine. DUIs. All of them. Antidepressants. That way they can take your firearms and, and rule you mentally ill. Is this what you want, people? Because this is what we've got. This is what our Supreme Court Justice has uh, declared for us all. And this is... This is horrible. This is very wrong. I think it's time for us to... Uh, do a sit-in like they did in Turkey. And then if they want to show their butts... We'll, we'll pull a turkey on them. I mean, this is bad. This is bad, y'all. This ain't going to lead to anything good. It's going to lead to bad things. And did you also see there where uh, it wasn't 100%? No. Blood is. And that's what will be next. They'll be taking blood from us. Oh, and another thing. The test takes several days to be completed and you know where you'll be in jail until the test comes back God help us all and God bless us all never give up your guns your rights go right with them when you do buy all the ammo if where and when how you can you can use it as currency Keep your eyes open and be alert. Have a plan. Be ready. This is Chatty Dad 1 over and out.